Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you really cool ways to interact with web pages when you're using Microsoft Edge browser. For example, you can do things like draw on a page or save the entire web page as an image and more. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I am in the Microsoft Edge browser, and I'm viewing this article about flying cars. And let's say I come across something on the web page here that I'd like to capture. Of course, I can always use my snipping tool to capture something on my computer screen, but let's take a look at web capture and what it can do. So I'm gonna go up to the more menu in the top right corner of the browser, the three dots, and I'll go down to Web Capture. When this opens, I'm going to see two options, Capture Area and Capture Full Page. Let's look at Capture Area first. I'll click here, and then I have the opportunity to now click, hold, and drag across the area that I'd like to capture and let go. You'll notice I have three options. I can copy this and paste it into another application. I can mark up using the annotation tools, and then I can copy it or save it. And the third option is visual search. Let's take a look at this. Okay, when I click visual search, my sidebar is gonna pop up on the right, and it's going to show me web results around this image. Now you'll notice we're seeing Blade Runner images here and products. That's because this image is a shot right out of the movie Blade Runner. But very nice how I can quickly do a web search around a screenshot that I just took. Okay, so now let's go back and we're gonna open up Web Capture again. And this time we're going to use Capture Full Page. Now what this means is that I'm not only capturing what I'm seeing here in the frame, but I'm actually capturing the entire web page. You can see here, I can scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. And this is open here in a new window, and it's the entire web page that has been captured here. And so now what I can do is I can draw, I can annotate on this. So if I wanted to go ahead and leave some notations here, I can do that. Then I can go up here to share and I can share it. I can copy it or save it. And so that is how you can use web capture. Now I'm going to show you something else and it's called web select. Now web select allows you to select large chunks of text on a web page to quickly copy and then use somewhere else. So for example, let's say I want to copy all of this text. You know, I could click and drag and highlight all of the text, and then I can control C to copy and paste. However, with web select, I can do this a lot faster. I'll go into the more menu, the three dots, and I'll go to web select. Now I can simply click and drag over the paragraphs and look at that. You can see it quickly highlighted all three paragraphs for me. I'll let go of that and I'll get the option to copy. All right, now let's open up Microsoft Word and I'll go ahead and right click and paste in that text. And look at that, how quickly I can capture and paste text off of a web page. One last tech tip when it comes to using web capture or web select, if you would like to have those buttons located at the top of your browser at all times, we can quickly add those. Click on the more menu, the three dots, go to settings. Then you're going to go to appearance. Scroll down until you get to customize toolbar. And within this list, you're going to find the different buttons that you can turn on and off. So here is the web capture button. And as you can see, it is now placed at the top of the browser here. If you also want to add web select, you can do that as well.
All right, so that's how you use Web Capture and Web Select in the Microsoft Edge browser. I hope this was helpful. If there's something specific you'd like to learn about, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.